Two words, beetle butts. Scientists in Europe are getting to the bottom of this rear end research. The insects are able to drink water through their derrieres, and now researchers in Europe have cracked the code behind how they do it. It's a strange discovery, but here's why it's important. It could help lower your food bill. Joining us with more is one of the researchers involved, biologist Kenneth Halberg. Welcome to your morning. Good morning. So you studied red flower beetles, which we just showed a moment ago. Why was it important to learn how they drink water? Well, they have a very special lifestyle that essentially allows them to complete their entire life cycle without drinking. And we wanted to get to the bottom of how that actually is possible to them. And in that process, we stumbled on this unique mechanism that allows them to drink with their um, behinds. So you discovered the kidney is involved in this process as well as what you call efficient rectums. That's why I love morning television. Efficient rectums is what they have. So how do their bodies absorb water through their rear ends? Well, the way it works is essentially that their kidneys are closely applied to their rectum. And the way the kidney works is essentially it pumps uh, high concentrations of salts into their, their kidneys, which create such high salt concentrations that are able to extract water from the uh, uh, rectal lumen. And so this way they can extract all the water from the food that they eat. But they can also be used in certain conditions to actually extract water from the humid air that surrounds them and then effectively drink with their butts. Okay, so beetles and other insects we know consume up to 20% of food crops that we grow every year. This is globally. How does your research help stop beetles from doing that? Right, so because the mechanism we've described we believe is specific to the beetles, that gives us a, a, a potential handle. If we understand these processes in detail, then we can actually design molecules that can, can perturb that mechanism fatally. Now, because it's only found in beetles, we can do that more specifically than we do today, where we're essentially spreading toxins that affects humans and the environment. So we can do that more specifically in a smarter way, and I think that's important. Yeah, so how far off are we then from using these findings to help control beetle populations, like what you just described? Well, this was the first step, and we described the first mechanism in what's likely a long series of mechanisms that we have to do to, to, to describe in order for us to have a complete picture. But evidently, this is showing a very strong proof of principle that we can actually do this. So uh, if funding allows, then we're able to actually complete this within the foreseeable future. That is fascinating research. I, I have to ask, Kenneth, how, how did you guys come up with this hypothesis that this is how they were actually drinking water? Yeah, so the, it's been known for a better part of a century that, that some organisms are able to extract water from the atmosphere. And so we found that very intriguing, I think, like most other people. And in our previous research, we identified a tool where we could look at where genes are expressed in different tissues of the animal. And in this context, we described or found a gene that's highly expressed in the kidneys that's applied to this rectal complex that's responsible for this mechanism. And so that was really the start of the whole project. And now, four years later, I think we've described what is maybe a key mechanism how this actually functions. It was a fascinating conversation and one that allowed me to say efficient rectum on the air. So thanks so much, Kenneth. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.